know, I'm sitting over here thinking, you know, that's what we do. We sit and we think. And I'm like, yo, my dad stopped talking to me for over a year behind this book. What's this book, you ask? This book is my shadow work journey before shadow work was a thing in 2013, where people thought vision boards was of the devil. Get thee behind me, Satan. That's when I went through my first spiritual evolution that I cognizantly was aware of and I documented it. Documenting my healing journey? You don't have to wait for me to write the book. I wrote it in 2013. Anyway, the point is, no, the point is support your girl, pick up your copy of the book, join our healing circles, and sit with me, the author, the person you have watched over the past X amount of months actively heal herself and her family so that I have proven to you that I have capabilities of healing even the most resistant people. Get your book, get on these lives every Wednesday, and let's start healing. And if you need a more personal touch, definitely check me out for one-on-one -on -one sessions. But the point inside the coin is I hopped on here because how we allow people's expression of anger to dictate our guilt. Yeah, I didn't just hop on here on some hop on here. I hopped on here on some shit. Yeah, because my dad stopped talking to me for over a year behind this book. And so based on his expression of anger, and he started doing shadow work himself. He didn't know it was, but he was just like, I treated you this way, but this is how I was treated. And he, he, he wrote down his whole childhood and his list of abuses, which I angrily deleted without even reading it. Because I was like, I don't care about your fucking excuses. I don't care how you were treated as a child. I did not deserve my treatment. I won't even say Pops was doing shadow work because he was just trauma upchucking, verbal vomit, trauma vomit, boom, there it goes. Just trauma vomiting all his trauma into an email to tell me, these are my excuses, so bump your experience, I got an excuse. So that was not shadow work, that was trauma vomit, not to be confused. And if you're confused, get your textbook and join the chat. Anyway, his expression of anger we were at, boom, we were at my mom's memorial service and my dad was so prideful, myself included, but I'm a 30, however old I was in 2013, 10 years ago, 33 year old young lady. You're a however year old in 2013 year old man. Yes, my dad was so full of pride that he sat at my mother's memorial, his own immortality, smacking him dead in his face, and he didn't speak one word to me because I didn't open up the conversation, I'm assuming, but I'm his child, so I didn't say one word to him. I went over to my kids, I said, there go your granddaddy over there, and I sent him over. My dad was so prideful, I too was so prideful. What was the example that was set before me? Sitting across from me at the couch, that's my example. We wonder why we've got issues, but we don't want to look at the causality of the issues. They too busy over there caught up in that trauma vomit. Anyway, my whole point is the way that my dad responded to me, I thought I said something crazy in this book. I'm reading this book and I'm pretty sure I'm beyond the point where I'm talking about anything my parents could have done to me. My father was really upset for the sheer fact, and I'm assuming because we never actually talked about it, but I have my father was not upset for the two small times I mentioned that he raised me militaristic and I was raised in a strict environment, something like that. But me admitting that I hated myself, me admitting that I had no self-love, me admitting that I didn't know who I am, bumped up against something so strong inside of him that he reacted with such anger towards me admitting that he did not raise me. I only mentioned him specifically maybe twice and it wasn't that bad as he read between the lines and my inability to know and love myself meant that somebody left me out there to not know and love myself that bumped up against something in him and instead of him doing that work he went and trauma vomited all over me and let me know you ain't got no right to complain because this is my trauma but daddy my trauma is still valid and i'm allowed to heal from it if you don't want to be a part of someone's trauma story don't cause them trauma <laughs> all i'm saying is i thought i did something really bad in this book and this is the first time i'm reading it cognizant of the fact that my father stopped talking to me behind this book and i'm like I didn't even say nothing. 
So you really mad at me off of your guilt. Your anger ain't got nothing to do with me. So here I am responding to your anger and thinking that I did something terrible based off of your anger. In reality, I didn't do nothing. You just mad about the fact that you failed me as a father, which is cool. Eat your sh and deal with it. I'm eating my sh and I'm dealing with my kids and my relationship and my husband and my, my life. I'm eating my sh and I'm dealing with it. I can teach you how to do it too. If you are a reluctant older parent and you have adult children who are coming to you and they're telling you, yo, you fucked me off and you're like, well, I was fucked up too. Drama vomit. Sorry, I didn't mean to mock you, but keep receiving the message. You know, instead of rejecting your child's pleas to be seen, some of them are literally saying, please see me. Instead of ignoring their pleas to be seen, understand that your child is trying to heal their trauma point in relation to you you know actually improve your relationship huh to think you're preventing a positive because your pride and ego won't let you move i can teach you too